All righty, it is that time. Sorry about the wait, everybody. OBS was messing up a little bit. Didn't want to show me the things that I wanted to see. But how are we doing this Saturday? It is Saturday stream time. You know what that means. It means it's me. It means we're hanging out. I, uh, as you all know, we spun the wheel on Wednesday and we ended up getting Greedfall. Um, full disclosure, I'm going to answer questions later on for sure, but due to some copyright issues this, that the soundtrack has, we have to play this game without music, which is why I have the current playlist playing in the background right now. I'm going to go ahead and credit that uh, to RM Production Music 13. It's his music. They, well, they compose it. I don't know if it's him or her or what they identify as. But uh, it's their music, and they're kind enough to let us use it. So I was just giving credit where credit is due. But I think we're just going to get right into it because uh, we have to create a character and all that. You know, the normal, typical um, day one RPG type shit, you know. All right, we're going to play on normal difficulty because, you know, but let me know about sound and audio, if the music's too loud or if the, if I'm not loud enough, you know, you know the drill. If it don't sound good, tell me. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. All right. One second, guys. I don't know, for me, it sounds like the music's a little too loud. All righty. He's got a little, got a little mark on his face. I don't know what that's about. I'm sure they'll tell us eventually. What do the presets look like? As you all know, I don't like to spend too much time on the character creation screen. However, I do want to look good. I do be wanting to look good. Kind of like the starting face. So we can have facial hair. Can I have a beard? Oh, ho, ho. I can have a beard. That's good. Also, some dubious little mutton chops are an option. Most games have really bad hair choices. The hair really doesn't look bad in this game. Except for that one. That one looks kind of bad. So that's the closest we get to bald. Oh, I'm not even... Damn. Damn. Y'all didn't say nothing. I wasn't streaming. I wasn't even streaming the gameplay. My bad. I kind of like the tiny ponytail. I don't know why, but that's what I think when I think colo like colonial times. All 
Perhaps with a little bit of mutton, a little bit of mutton chops. It's your boy. What up, buddy? How are you doing? You having a good Saturday? Need them eyebrows to look good. Making a dubious little creature. Just heavy vibes. Heavy is in like you're vibing heavy or like you got shit going on. Kind of digging the dark brown hair. No, no good heavy bobs. Good. We like good heavy bobs. Bad heavy bobs are sometimes a part of life too, but um, we kind of hope that it's not those. This uh, might be us, guys. I'm going to go through the facial hair once more. I really am kind of sold on the mutton chops. Right, I prefer my bad heavy vibes to not be on Saturday. Same, dude. Man, these are, this is a tough choice. I kind of like the light beard. And I do somewhat enjoy the windswept hair. It got me looking kind of like a Final Fantasy protagonist. I feel like this guy's about to cut you the best deal on like imp importing furs or something. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I think we're gonna go light beard. And then it's between The ponytail actually I don't know if it's between anything I think it's just gonna be the ponytail I think that's us guys I think this is Cal Jen this is Cal oh the bald looks bad, dude. It looks really fucking bad. He's got like a weird head. Like, look. It just look. He's, I don't like it.
And it's not even actually bald. It's it's a lie, dude. Like this guy has the ability to grow a full head of hair. It's an it's an imposter. He's an imposter. All right. Focus on melee combat, one-handed heavy weapons, one-handed blades and firearms, recommended strength and endurance, recommended talents, craftsman and vigor. Technical set set an elemental trap, firearms, one-handed blades, accuracy and agility. Science and lock there's fucking lock picking. I wonder if I even get a party. I always hate passing up lock pickable chests. I bet you though I can pick a warrior and pick lock picking. I'm all about guns and swords, baby. But it looks like technical gets to do that too. But controlling the battlefield, I prefer to control it by just murdering everybody. Just eliminate the entire battlefield and then there's nothing to control. It's in control, right? Maybe. Bet you can pick a warrior and just smash it open. That'd be ideal. Starting skills, divine magic ring, stasis, one-handed heavy weapons. Mental power, willpower, science, and intuition. Guys, I think we're going warrior. It's the only one that I've looked at and it's like, what I what I want want. Okay, pick an attribute to invest your first point. It recommended what it recommend. Strength and endurance. Pretty simple. As far as I can tell, I wonder if any of this melds together. Like I can be a warrior and I start picking up a little bit of magic but recommended strength and endurance so we'll just go with that we'll go with what it recommends oh shit and it recommended vigor and craftsmanship crafting is sick Let's you pass through certain difficult passages that require, excuse me, require balance, increases the maximum ammo capacity, unless you slightly recover HP and magic outside of combat. Allows you to craft. Charisma slightly reduces merchant's prices, slightly improves your companions. Slightly increases the chance of some dialogue choices. Man. You guys kind of know me i kind of almost always pick charisma but if i have to drop one it might be vigor but we only get to pick one oh my god this is tough yeah i don't care about science we're not here to learn. Intuition. You know what? This might be the first. I'm probably going to regret it. I'm not picking charisma. I think vigor is going to be the most help. Probably starting out. Next point, level five. What, what, what? I know. You only get one point.
I know, cow without charisma. Tough guys. Screw it, we're going bigger. Yes. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. Cal will never be without charisma. I beg your pardon, but That's urgent right. matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you. Her highness has personally requested I finish. <sighs> Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. I wonder if that's metaphorical for leaving business here unfinished or something. So far, it looks really good. And guys, a lot of these settings are on medium. Just it, I just did it just in case. Just in case it didn't run very well or it was gonna bog down stream. It's a game from 2019, so it's not that old. Well, shit, that was five years ago. It's a little older. Hey, green blood. Cut. A little bit of combat. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Okay. Sir, you have a claymore. Okay, main attack. <laughs> So you can parry, you can dodge, prove to Kurt that you can fight. You've lost health to assign a potion to a shortcut, use LB. Tactical pause. Five years isn't that long, to be honest. It's a little long for the gaming industry, I would say. I've gone five years before. Five years. Have you? Have you? Okay. Actions, potions. I can use or I can bind it. Let's bind it to up. Yeah! 
Defend yourself well, Greenblood. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. Are you already training for your new post of Legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. So I... I feel like I should go through the basics just because I just because I did good doesn't mean I didn't miss little things. But I did good enough to pass the to to skip the tutorial. That's got to mean something. I would be up for that. A little last minute training couldn't hurt. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go fight with honor. Firearms, let's go, dude. What? Techniques Firing arms. We'll assign it to A. Actually, no, let's assign it to X. So that way, whenever I'm doing my regular attacks, I can just press the right trigger and quickly make it to a gun. Physical armor level is shown with shields on the health bar. Armor absorbs part of the physical damage. To break your enemy's armor, you can use an impact weapon or certain traps. Magic attacks ignore armor. Oh, we get a little hammer? is a state that allows you to use special attacks that inflict bonus damage and make enemies lose their balance a segment meter that fills up as you attack an enemy oh it's up there on top okay fills up as you do stuff when the meter reaches the first level a visual indicator will appear on your character's hands Okay, I'm literally pressing the button. I wonder. Actions. Because my... The left trigger is what uses my gun and stuff. But it's telling me to use it for fury? Can't be right. It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes, you know what? So is everybody doing this wonderful day. Saturday? I went you're not and got sushi with, with my cousin. Home. He happened to be in town. Show him how happy you are that he's coming along or complain about being shattered by a bodyguard. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. 
A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. Um, no need. And there I was thinking I would die. That's a, ne that's a negative. Trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? Final Fantasy 14, let's go. We got so much done yesterday. I have no idea. He had plans to had celebrate a really good time. his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. She says, hey, a girl can dream. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, for real, I couldn't help but play longer. I'm actually, I wish I could have stayed up later. I'm glad I didn't, though, because if I would have stayed up any later, uh, we would have, uh, I would have missed lunch. I wouldn't have woken up in time. I'm playing with a new handheld puzzle game I got called Super Slider, and I love it so much. First of all, what up, Boja? How we doing? And I'll have to check that out. There's some I'm going to do, though, really quick. Um, the music is fantastic. It's it's good. Um, I just, uh, it's a little bit, I thought it was going to fit a little better. So we're just going to play without music for now. If it's bad, guys, just let me know. I can always try to find something different. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? Oh my god. I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now. Let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles. And we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. How is it so far? So far, good. We just, uh, we created our character and we did a little combat tutorial and the combat's pretty clean. Uh, we chose warrior as our class out of the three and it looks good. Ooh, I got one of those cool hats. You can sprint to run faster. Yes, we can. Meet Kurt in front of the palace. Kurt? It's done. Sorry, green blood. Look. We can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier. Hey, yo, what up, Drang? I do also I all love I the aesthetic. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Add to the team. We got Kurt rolling with us. 
He's skilled with all melee weapons. His relationship level is suspicious. Kurt's a little sus. All right, so I do have a party member. That means there is hope that I will be able to like have to a rogue. I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Notify the okay. will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. What a city. This is kind of wild looking. Need to notify the bridge alliance. I can access the map. Okay, we have two weapons. World map. Okay. That's fine or not. Quit. That's annoying. It's like if I get too close, it just drags me to where I am. I know where I am. I can see it on the map. Okay, whatever. Fuck him. Okay, I can't go that way. Yo, this town is in shambles. So, uh, from what I gather, there's some kind of plague going on. Your mom has it. And even you have that mark on your face. It even looks like you might have it a little bit. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please tell me what troubles you. A rather Sir, do you have a quest? unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Okay, yeah, we can, we can fuck up the charlatan. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of his allies. I also am clever and mean. By several nations of the bridge You're not mean. Years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors. But our ancestors quickly realized 
that the Union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance <laughs> leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Ooh, I kind of regret, uh, regret clicking that. Okay, yeah. I need to be going. Something Goodbye, tells me I'm going to have to choose Goodbye, between these factions. Lord Decide. Let's go find us a charlatan. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking oh, listen, he if this that remedy I... can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance. And give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except yeah, the magic, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health. Resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm going to take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. I feel like the stream got laggy there during the cutscene. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Yeah, <laughs> Kurt, I like the way you think. I like the Let's way Kurt thinks. Let's take a look thinks. at his cart. His car would be around behind, maybe. These pages are covered in small, almost illegible handwriting, experiment results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols. But the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchemist and was certainly very knowledgeable. 
weird alchemist of the alliance who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay this old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something so leave him in his filth the customer is always right to my help and death to the others <laughs> 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 A little bit of combat, we like that. Wonder what their fucking problem was though. Old embroidered duble. Doublet. Let me know if the quality goes down again. I don't I'm not even sure what I could do to fix it. Oh, that looks really nice for an old, an old doublet. What the heck? What the heck? But it's good now. Okay. My character's on his tippy toes. We do need to worry about aim, ammo, it looks like. This mixture is supposed to be... It's a little bit suspicious that I got attacked for a Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be Damn working it. for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something it won't even fucking let me pause harm it. or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. And you dare challenge me? when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I, you don't have the right. Damnation, he got away. Alrighty. I don't know if there's anything I can, I don't even know what to do. Except maybe change some of the settings or something. Let's see here. This is a lot of CPU usage. Same issue that we had with Cyberpunk, but this game can't be nearly as demanding. There's no way. Yeah, maybe. I have an idea of what it might be, even. Here, let's try this. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. 
He won't leave the city. Now it's not letting me use my controller. the heck guys every game at this here lately has had something going wrong with it can't even open the menu with mouse or fucking keyboard. See how far back it took me. How's it looking? Is my audio still messed up or? We'll find out soon enough. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. It said in the note that he, he lives here and that they didn't want him to clean his room. Nice room. Wonder if there's an upstairs. And they're just leaving gold coins laying around. the only one that has found you have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street i'm neither deaf nor blind <sighs> by the spheres why didn't i leave the city while there was still time the alliance ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce and he is the one who sent me sahin him again ruining my career wasn't enough for him he's the very reason i had to leave the alliance and here i am playing the part of the potion maker me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al Saad. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. There it is. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. 
It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? Oh, you don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you Everything seems 100% now. To use this I have so. Experimental fodder. That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Um, already asking us to make decisions. Honestly, like, I don't think... It is a little unethical what he's doing, but I don't think he's doing anything that bad. He seems kind of genuine. I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Okay, so I can either sneak out or I can try to negotiate. But as you remember, I did not pick Charisma. So we will need to find a sneaky way out of here. And you know what I think it was, Squid? I think it was, I think it was fucking one drop again. Damn it. I can't pick the lock. I knew this was gonna happen. My day is ruined. Perhaps through the basement? Keep an eye out for anything the lucrative. Door. The lock's double bolted. I don't have the key. Okay, so we can get the key. Acquire the key. Even if I had lock picking, I wouldn't have been able to open it because it's only it's level two. Dude, one drive is a shit. Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? Does this establishment have a service entrance? Yes. Over there, behind. Next to the storeroom. Why? I have delicate business to attend to. Oh, I see. Does this have anything to do with those enraged folks screaming at the front door? No worries. I know how to keep a secret. I might even allow you to use the door, as long as you are of a generous disposition. Gold for simply turning a key? Well, I don't have 50, go 50 have gold. I business to run, you know. I'm obliged to ask for payment for services rendered. I'm not going to successfully bring this down, I bet. Have you thought of what might happen if all those people outside lose their patience? They'll storm your tavern to carry off your troublesome client. Who knows how much damage they'll do. I suppose you're right. Oh, it worked. Better to get rid of this man as quickly as possible. Here, here's the key. Get this charlatan out of here. Anything else? I need to be off. 
Farewell. Goodbye. The key to the tavern. And now we'll do a little, little door opening. Let's go and find the alchemist. We need to get him out of here. As Watch him be gone. Watch him. He probably bounced. Again, the game looks really good. I bet it would look even better. Like if I had a better, if I had a better machine. Letter from the alchemist of, of Al-Sad. I am genuinely sorry to learn that you have not found the peace you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the Academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules do not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments. And there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace. Your friend. Hmm. That's nice. I think this guy was actually Sir, telling the truth. Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes. I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being Damn. skinned alive by the mob. You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. Also, I gotta say, my drip. I'm looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're going to get stalked by a bunch of people, I bet. Maybe not. <laughs> it's what it kind of looks like, though. It's like it looks like it's the only direction. Holy shit! They've seen me. I've never heard this fight. I didn't wasn't planning on killing anybody to help this guy, but here we are. Kurt down here putting in work. Priest boots, take it all. Take it all. You know what that means, guys. There's if there's loot to be looted, I'ma loot it. You know how I roll. lagging again, wasn't it?
What was it? Why is it being like that? It's full screen on my screen, but on your guys's, it's not. What the heck? I wonder if my computer is just finally shit in the bed. Back for a little bit. the heck just give me a break right And now it's too big. What is... Wait, no, it's not. I don't know if it did or not. One thing I am going to do, though, is I guess make it full screen instead of windowed. It just means we won't be able to... Uh, Can I keep it the full screen? I won't be able to tab out so easy. <laughs> However, um, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. I'm a little bit perplexed. Where are you headed? Don't abandon me. Well, that's the crazy thing is, uh, it's not game breaking because on my screen, it looked normal. It was full screen on my screen. It could be. Let's hope not. Let's, I mean, I mean, rather, let's hope that that's what it is because. Out of style. Does your best belong to last year's fashion? Come on, old man. I had to kill six people to get you out of here. My cart, finally. I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back. And stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lord. 80 gold coins. Now we're to go lie to the ambassador and tell him that we killed him. Yeah, sure. That's a cool option. OBS is weird, man. Your Excellency, Lord Desade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. 
Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Confront him on his lie, cover the escape of the alchemist. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the coin guard tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> we'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. More Goodbye, money? Excellency. I got Goodbye, money? Goodbye, Lord De Sade. And a level. I wonder what leveling up is like. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't really know how cool things are any yet. Guns. I guess I would like more damage with blades. We'll just go with that for now. Makes the most sense. I like, I like cutting things. I like cutting things up. Whoa. Dude. Titanfall was just, not Titanfall, Greedfall was just using 90% of my CPU. And now it's down to 39. What is going on? I wonder if this game is just poorly optimized. Do normal level of particles. See how if it makes it look worse or better. Or... Yeah, if I look at that fire, dude. Oh my god i know it's probably not showing in the uh it looks like it's not making the stream skip at all but my cpu is capping out right now I need to Google some things. That's not safe. Let's see here.
Shadows. It says also that this city has bad optimization. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Well, really? yeah, but you have something for me to do. To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I must be going. Okay. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Desire. So far, there's no solutions for the CPU thing on the internet that I can find. The game still looks pretty good, even though I turned down a lot of those settings. But Jesus, I walk past some fire and it shoots right up. Cool. Ooh. A new sword? Can't wield it because I don't have agility. Good sir. Oh, you're How fucked up, buddy. Service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. 
Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment, but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? This is preposterous. Your master is a thief. I have no patience for bandits and robbers. Either you give us back what's ours, or we'll take it. Your idea of diplomacy isn't all that different from my own. Now to the devil with you. Since you leave us no choice. The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greenblood. If I'd have known, I wouldn't have gotten you mixed up in this. Well, now I'm kind of interested. Recover the merchandise. Now we're talking. Don't count on it. We shall return. Okay. Is it this way then? No. Where am I supposed to go? How do I get there? Oh, there, let me. To my help! And death to the others! Stop! I beg of you! He seems to have grown wiser all of a sudden. Yes, yes! Don't hear me anymore! Very well. I'm counting on you to deliver this merchandise as quickly as possible. Yes, good sir. I'll take care of it immediately. Maybe there's some hidden goodies up here. I was right. So is that that quest then, I guess? Inform the coin bearer, supporter master. New boots. New boot goofing. Poison resistance or elemental resistance? This has way more defense.
I guess we'll see if we made the right decision or not. Oh, okay. Try to run away. Oh. I'm starting to think though that because I it's weird that two of the weapons that I've come across so far require agility. And agility is only one that you pick if you select the uh technical class. I don't know. Use workbench. Allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. Science allows you to create potions. Oh. Dang, you're always playing something? Yeah, you know how it is. The game that got picked is Greedfall. Despite some of the technical difficulties that we've been having. Like for some reason it's capping out my CPU usage. Which is quite annoying. My I don't have a bad computer. There's no reason that this should be... There's no reason that I can run Cyberpunk on as uh, good a settings as I did that I can't run this. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. How are you, Last Phoenix? Me, Hope I'm you're doing well, buddy. Not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But... This cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. You're doing good, that's good, man. Shall do what's required. How am I? I'm doing good, I've had a good Saturday so far. I was not expecting some of these technical issues that I'm having. Which, uh, is a little annoying. But so far, it's a good, it's a good looking, good feeling game. I think it's just poorly optimized is all. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Though some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sardé, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. <laughs> okay, buddy. 
Apologies. It's a bigger boat. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Okay. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? You tried out Evil Other West for the first time? Leads. They put it on Game Pass? How's it going? Caesar, you like it? But it's difficult to be sure. It looked pretty cool. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavia and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaways? A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We of course refused entry. Only the Norts have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. Oh, not officially? What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority. And the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire! If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier for D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noticed on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. Commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Huh. Okay, young lad. Seems that my boy's of the mind that a little bit of crime is okay. 
Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a Tamper way to... Tamper the ship's logs. Yes. Yes. We're tampering with logs. Going into places we shouldn't be. Maybe I should have picked technician. A lot of this stuff is very, uh... Has been very roguelike. It seems good from what I tried. Now that's the one that's kind of, uh... It's set in the Old West, but it's a zombie game, right? It's a little more action oriented. Yo, how do I jump? Vampire, more like, gotcha, gotcha. I like vampires. Vampires are fucking cool. I'm glad you're here though, Phoenix. It's always good seeing you, man. Jesus Christ. What could this game possibly be doing that warrants it to jump up to 100? It, I don't, it, it doesn't seem like it's affecting anything. So I'm trying not to be stressed about it, but it worries me because I know that that's not healthy for the CPU. A costume of the faction will allow you to trick the guards. You can also try the stealth approach, but if a guard spots you, will result in a violent response and damage your reputation with this faction. Okay. You there. Give me your clothes, boy. So I can sneak. You have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. It's sneaky, more, sneaky, sneaky, you, sneaky. You were able to keep your mark hidden from them. They might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. Um, where can I find a, a, a not uniform though? Perhaps here in the cargo somewhere? Is there a There is I was not used to having uh, Saves Not prison Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question if this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no Nord. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me, but you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Yes, I guess.
I don't have the key. I wonder if I if there is a uh I don't know where I'd get a key. I need to get a knots. I need to get a uh, a uniform. Here, let's save the game real quick and see if I can like stealth knock out this this person. No. Actually, I wonder if it even matters. It does. It matters. I also wonder if I'm supposed to not be here. Hey guys, we cool? We chill? We chillin? Halt! The warehouse is off limits. Of course. Move along. Can't you make an exception? No, sorry sir. Move along please. Now. Very well. I'm going. Orders haven't changed, you know. I'm no. not trying to go into your warehouse, bro. Very well. I'm going. Orders haven't changed. Very well. I'm going. Okay. Not a whole lot to go on. Where do you guys think I could get an outfit? That seems like the best move is to literally just disguise myself. I don't even know what a knot looks like. Captain, sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. You're going to have to wait. We need to find a way to clear the access to the warehouse. What? Okay. Maybe down here on the port somewhere, I guess. You there. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. Oh. Don't worry. I certainly hope so. I need to be leaving. I'm glad there's not an actual time limit, it seems. Because if there was, it'd be fucked. Because we've been spending this whole time lost and not knowing what to do. I am indeed getting loot. I'm getting I'm getting plenty of loot. Okay. It seems like you know exactly what you're doing. I wish I did. It says I need to find a uniform. 
Okay, so I can't go this way? Why? It's literally a walking path. Investigate the disappearance of the knot. Investigate the disappearance. Prepare a laced drink with sleeping pills. Go see the heretics in their hideout. Warehouse, where, oh, okay. Maybe I can go into that warehouse? At least this is a cozy controller game. Oh, hey. No! Oh. Let me out, bro. To my help. Damn it. Of course there'd be a motherfucker just waiting. Curious about something. Yeah, you stay right where you are. You don't see me? Ah. To my help! And death to the others! Okay, so she just shot me. I'm just curious. I'm sure nobody heard that. It's all fucking locked anyway. Guys, I'm really regretting not picking lock picking. No fucking uniform in there. How hard could it be? Not to mention, I've I've defeated multiple people that have this uniform on. Let me take it. guess we'll try another thing indeed indeed pee pee poo poo oh god why is it all locked bro it's already in the warehouse doesn't need to be locked Low key, I hate this.
Well, not only that, but it's... I'm assuming it's where you get the outfit. So far, every possible option... There hasn't been a single option that per pertains to, like, what my character is. It's all been... The other classes, like science or... You know, just everything not mine. Do I have... Watch me have a knot. Nope. I do not. the heretics damnation we've been found i told you that the smuggler was not worthy of our trust the man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison but revealed to me your hiding place oh the traitor have you come to deliver us to the inquisition then please please have pity on our souls we have committed no crime we are not heretics we are nothing more than historians in that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Teofredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In okay. the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the Illuminated. He speaks of a voice. That came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written, is written. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. True. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Yeah, honestly, the two organizations that they've showed us and had us do work for, they both suck. They suck. And I'm not really for either one of them. Mm. 
Mm. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Okay. Dude, let me just... Again, I had to sneak into this warehouse. Wow, I don't... I just don't understand. Let me loot the fucking chests. Well, let me loot one box. I figured there would be a uniform here. It says that I failed that part, that I don't need it now. What up, Titan? My man. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Have you spoken with the ambassador? Has he accepted us refuge? I'll actually be right back, guys. I need to use the restroom really quick. It won't be long. Just chilling at work on this cloudy day. It is a little bit cloudy outside, isn't it? And unexpectedly cold. Fuck it, we're just gonna try to sneak in and change the logs ourselves. And if I have to, if I have to murder some people, that's just uh, that's just part of the nature of things, you know. You want to smuggle some weapons to a, to a uh, new island that nobody knows shit about? Sometimes you just gotta do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of crime. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. What are you up here? Oh, hey, buddy. Ah! To my ear! Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Of course, that wasn't the fucking. Oh, man. This game, am I right? Really, really regretting. I'm hot. I'm debating. Re rolling. But watch, I'll do that. And then when I get to the actual island and stuff, there's not going to be a single fucking rogue. There's not going to be any rogue shit. That'd be my luck anyway.
And of course, I'm not going to be able to make a fucking drink, I'm sure. Lace drink? Of course. Let's just say I'm incredibly frustrated that every single objective or whatever that they've shown me has required the opposite of what I selected for character creation. It doesn't even like offer a decent alternative of some kind. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. Just try to s we just try to stealth kill this person probably that oh fuck you oh my god dude Oh, I didn't even need to kill that person. Maybe. I guess it's locked, naturally. I'll just go fuck myself. Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Check it out, that outfit that we wanted this whole time. Can I equip that sword that I got? <laughs> How we doing? Can I get a oh yeah? Most certainly. I wonder if they care that it's me now that I have the uh, outfit on. I do for you an Brother awfully different Ian, response you're dismissed finally we were starting to grow moss courage me hearties 
Just ignore the one dead dude in the upstairs. the men. They need all the time they can get. Inform the porters. Love from Exposed. Where is that guy? Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. So I need to notify some porters. I don't remember that ever being a thing. Oh, wait. That would have helped them with the escape, maybe? Dude. There, that's the map we're looking for. Inform the porters. I think we're finally making progress, everybody. Well, now, can we get going? The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Okay, talk to the coin guard, quartermaster, that we, we managed to successfully smuggle the goods, everybody. We have done the smuggling. I did that, though. What do you mean? I did that. Why is it telling me just... Uh, uh. I should be able to just walk right in here, theoretically. Yeah, they don't mind me. Don't mind me. And ignore the dead guy upstairs. Oh, I didn't actually tamper with it. I just, good thing I, good thing I caught that. Wait, I wonder since I have the key now, I know that opens the, nope. It opens door, but not chests, nor does it open my heart. Sailor's gloves. Um, those are pretty good, actually. They're lower defense, but the stats on them are good. At least I think I would per I would assume that they're good. Oh my gosh, guys. Talk to the coin guard barracks quartermaster. Why isn't it on my map? Tavern. Harbor master's office. Coin guard barracks.
We're struggling out here, boys. So you're back. Right then. We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. And bravo, Kurt. The commander will be most pleased. The cargo shall make the voyage. But who will be at its reception once it's arrived? That shall be your next mission. Once you've reached New Serene, go and find the quartermaster. He will give you new instructions. Oh, okay. Then, I wish you a safe and pleasant voyage, Your Excellency. Kurt, good luck. That's why there was no icon for it. New Serene. So, on the island. Once we actually fucking get there. Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? Actually, while we're over this way. And maybe since I helped him earlier, he will be inclined to help me. Yo, Sahin, what's up? Lord Desade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. I need to be going. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but... It is all that we possess. Is that the same as Farewell. the alchemist guy, but just you with a mustache? Heart, green blood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't yeah, have wanted yeah. those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. You know, guys, I like Kurt. And that probably means he's going to end up fucking dying, which sucks, but... That's what they do. They make you like a guy. Yep, that fire, dude. Why they had to put so much detail on the fire? Let me turn down the details. Please. Time for this guy to get pissed at me. Good day, Excellency. Sir Desade, to what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Lie or tell the truth. Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. That probably made me level May up, the yeah. light guide you. Loud? 
Alrighty. I don't know how much I want to go in with the blades because... Two, oh, two-handed blades? I like the idea of that. Damage with one bladed with one handed blades on unarmored enemies. Sure. We are level three. We're fucking schmoovin'. Alright, where are we going next? To investigate the disappearance of the the cabin boy he doesn't do anything he just stays in my cabin said the captain They certainly don't make it easy to navigate this town. Oh, why would I ever? Man, I hate that. There's that coat. There's the sailor's coat. Now I know if I ever decide to play this game again. From the beginning. Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. By the canal, drink. huh? It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. All right, so we got a couple of, we got a little bit of information from that.
Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine deaf winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report God's voice doesn't match his character. Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No. Not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you? The night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> You think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still Something tells me the cabin boy is not just a cabin boy. But, but outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. They never so are. Isn't right yeah. there, I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. I see loot. I see loot in the distance. More loot. Which way do I? There's loot both ways. Beast essence. Okay, so we gotta go to the tavern. Completing quests in Greedfall, a quest can usually be completed in several different ways. It feels like this should have been given to me a while ago. The Sarde can have more than one string to his bow. Cunning, persuasion, intuition, corruption, creating items from the crafting table. Will be some of the means available to you to reach your goals. To prove in these areas, spin points. Threats in combat are also options when your enemies are not receptive. Few towns. I don't know why I keep yawning, guys. I'm not tired. Tavern keeper. I'll see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. I'm looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to Mar Tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping in my establishment. You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Anything else? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night. But it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age. Hair down to his neck. Light brown. Blue eyes. Quite the talker. 
I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the He's man the man who started, started the fight. fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. Oh if my gosh. Not, You'll need to Damn play. it. I didn't pick craftsman. Here you are to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for honest friendships. <laughs> your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Thank you for the information, Tavern Keep. Innkeeper. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I have metal dowels. And there you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. I guess I could have fixed it. Damn, and I paid the money. Motherfucker. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago. After visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous. As if he was worried about something. He must have been right to be nervous. If he's disappeared. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. Pop, pop, so pop, pop, pop. I, I that. love that. I it love that. Fontaine, emote. That merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Find and confront the kidnappers. We're making progress, boys. Is there a chest back there? There is. It's wild, man. That fire straight up just cooks the CPU. Cooks it. Ooh. Rusty Morning Star. I actually want to check and see if it's an upgrade for my current hammer. It is. 
Does less armor damage though, which is kind of what you use the whole thing for. More stun. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter oh, yeah? Please. I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. I've Excuse had a me, feeling. But I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I'm very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly, Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement, and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. Okay, sus. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This uh, horrible, okay, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact? It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Yeah, all this is super sus. Something tells me though, the cat, like, after talking to his mom, something tells me the cabin boy probably left on his own accord. Cause she fucking sucked. I, I probably would have bounced too. Oh, hey, loot. So, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without- Have no fear, I will- I'm still without news of my- I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. Ah, I but what see. I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nord. Our ships are his home. We 
are his only family. Hmm. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a nought? Steve Gifton. That's an interesting concept. Knowledge. He could tell us a little more. But I still don't see Constantine. Don't That's worry. fine, man. Chill. I certainly hope. I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son because of some agreement signed between my uncle and the Nords? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Noughts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. Well, this has turned into a mission of national importance. For, for ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Oh boy, lots of running around. Did you get what you came for? Leave me now, please. I'd like you to prepare several meals and bring them to the warehouse we own on the canal. My husband will have to work there with his clerks. This document mentions another property. A warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? All right, real quick before I do this. <laughs> These energy drinks are running right through me. I'll be right back. And we continue. Here we are. Be careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet. 
Probably downstairs. Sir Desade, what are you doing here? I've come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? 50% chance to reason with him. Or I could threaten him. You've taken your son against his will and have him locked up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? As if you would know what it is like Fail. to be a parent. You are far too young to understand the way we feel. I looked into the contract that binds you to the Nords. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... It is so. But that sort of contract is ignoble. I never would have signed it if I had known. You should have thought of that before. Breaking the contract could have regrettable consequences for the congregation. The prince will know how to negotiate with the Nords. If they take my son back, my wife will die of sadness. Her sadness would be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in the story, don't you think? You wouldn't dare tell her. I, I beg you. You're not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Boom. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. Dude, can't you just, like, set up visitation? So when he's in town, he can say what's up? Okay, so this warehouse is a fucking maze. That's pretty cool. It's got him in a... Who are you? My name is the Sade. I am Legate of the Congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... My father, to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me capture me and lock me up in this warehouse hard to grow close after all that my family is the noughts i am sorry for my parents but that is the way of it now can i go home yes you should still go and say farewell to your mother then find your way to the ship i'll see you there cool Course. Another chest that I can't open with lock pick. It's like the game's fucking mocking me. And then all we gotta do, I think, is go get my cousin. You'll find all you need in our selection. You By the way, am I too far away from my mic? Can you guys hear me okay? I'm kind of lounging. You still haven't found your cousin. 
Have no fear. I will bring him... My cabin boy. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Reputation with the knots? That's good. Be back soon, Captain. Oh, we leveled up. Oh. So we get a skill point and an attribute. Increases fury generation and all damage inflicted in melee combat. Attributes required to wield the best one handed and two handed swords. I mean, we got to go with agility, right? Strength and agility. The kick unbalances more. Cool. All right, time to find our cousin. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out? What's this vendor have? It's such a pleasure. Have you seen anything to your liking? Oh wait, I can wield this sword now. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. That is a good sword. Have you seen it? Damn. There's the two handed. Can't wield it yet. That jacket is cool. Sucks that it's not any good. Oh, a cloak? Charisma plus one. I feel like that alone is worth it. It looks fucking awful, but Fungus. What I've always wanted. Do a little save before uh, going into the belly of the beast. If you had any idea who I am, don't run up, imbeciles! I have a ship to catch. That vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. Okay.
I don't know where it teleported me to because I was getting ready to loot something. There we go. I don't see anybody. Perhaps there is a sneakier way to get in. Level one science and out of uh, what? It's not possible just now. Guys, I have strength and vigor. Why can't I break? I hate this so much. What the fuck is going on? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. It's blocked. I feel like I'm taking fucking crazy pills. Man, people just dying in the streets. This town is not very cash money. posters we posted someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate the rooster he's making a great deal of noise we could knock him out or gag him sneakied right in there Go down, go ahead and unlock this. And loot this. There it is. The key.
That's what I'm talking about. Give me the loot. Oh, there's a lot of loot. And by a lot of loot, I mean a little bit. But loot is loot. We take it. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. I'll do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail okay, for adventure. Buddy. Companion equipment. Select Constantine from the inventory screen. If you only knew how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. They haven't spotted us. We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been the reasonable. Wait, so I can take his armor? Don't you think these brutes deserve? I feel a like punishment? I should. Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt, it is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow. Sick. Oh, of course, the boots require endurance. Naturally. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. It's not possible just now. I thought it was going to be a little bit more in depth on how I had, like, I had spent more time looking for the cabin boy than I did my own cousin. And I'm going to kill all these guys and take their shit. That's what you get for kidnapping a noble. Plus, I wanted their loot. Not that that's a surprise to any of you. And as it turns out, I'm just too fucking strong for him. They can't keep up. Hey, Luke, what's up, man? 
How's Greedfall? It's good so far. We've had some technical difficulties and so far, uh, I picked a warrior and uh, the abilities that I chose were all the fucking wrong ones for the intro. So many different quest options and whatnot that required a skill that I required skills that I don't have. So that was a little annoying, but the gameplay is good and so far the story's all right. Also, congratulations. I haven't got to tell it to you with my voice, only text message. It's good to see you. Sir? Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, your highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. Well, I think I did everything here. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. Several months. Any farewells to make or any final business to put into order. Now is the time. Why did we ever lose that ye old drip? I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. We look so good. You're quite right. I didn't be quick with it. I need to make sure soon, I didn't. Captain. I need to make sure I didn't miss anything. I see no more indicators. I think that's it. I think we literally did all the all the stuff at the intro. But so far, uh, it's given me uh, New World vibes, except uh, single player and more in depth, I guess. Sir, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should. Permission to board the ship? Certainly. Do you have any? No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need Man, to something tells me it's not going to go the voyage will that be good for you. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. Creatures as big That's as right. buildings. I heard a rumor that the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. Is awoken. Uh -huh. Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. Okay, what the hell shit. manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Oh, we're gonna fight a beast real quick? Come now. Let's lend them a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Solo this. Defeat the creature. Sure. just for this. Carry this, you filthy casual. Strut. 
It's just scaled. Ice cold, bro. Green blood. How do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I had the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. I feel bad for him. I don't know why. The memory crystal allows you to redistribute all of your point. Wait, um, wait a minute. Oh, I got a crystal that will let me redistribute all of my points. I can change my build right now if I wanted to. I'm okay with what we got. Fuck them. I'm stand. I'm gonna stand by my decisions. Get on board what, dude? The ship's ruined. Why'd we even come over this way anyway? Gentlemen. Just gonna lightly pet gloss over the fact that you slayed an unnatural beast. Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. And this journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. The three amigos, man. Stations, lads. Where I'm, I'm just ready her to taking work. a guess. Small Lively guess. Now, lively. Catch me a win. The ship's going to wreck. And we're going to wash up ashore alone. And want to figure shit out. That's just my guess. Just a guess. Having a good relationship with them can earn you bonus. Okay. I cannot imagine staying on a boat for months. I'm sure there was supposed to be epic music right there. So I apologize, guys. Greedfall. Tear for D. Oh, dude, this guy smell like absolute fucking dog shit. A charming welcoming, guys. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Here, Bob. Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> 
I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. No, not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile, too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency, lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need! Have no fear, for I am here to defend- Oh my god, dude. I've been scullied. How so? My admiral laid me off. What my the fuck? My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. Also, oh, the captains are before me now? Please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Is he a rogue? Can he pick fucking locks, dude? No? Skill point and a talent point. And loot! There's loot! Okay, the talent point, though. I'm confused. Why why do these have a plus by them and these do not? Oh, I saw he's just sing for us. No shot. I will however be right back. These fucking energy drinks. The kitty has expressed her interest in being on camera. <laughs> Here her is. Hey. So there you go. There she is. She's being a little needy. We'll see if she'll actually chill out. I don't know what to pick. My luck, all the locks are going to be level two now if I select lock picking. <clears throat> I feel as though craftsmanship is going to be useful. Oh, 
Do I have equipment that's making that plus one? Is that what this is? Oh. That entire time, I could have had this motherfucking jacket on and opened all those lock... I could open up every single one of those chests if I knew that I could change... If I knew that I could change clothes. I hate this. Uh, as far as talents go, I don't know. I'm tempted to go crafting. I feel like it's going to be really useful down the line. But I guess I get a reset, so if, it, if I end up getting gridlocked at some point... My CPU usage is even worse here. You'll find all you need in our selection. Whatever you need to be the talk of all serene. Come closer, good people. Attention, soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnir. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. So you are a princess, then? A what? Let her pass! Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. Um... Damn it, I like Kurt. Minister, your excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? That'll be all. Goodbye. I'm confused. Why is it telling me to go outside? Yeah, the coin guard. All that smuggling I did. There you are, dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, 
Daughter of Bladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Maal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Okay. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Okay. Just got here. Now I'm already, already being shipped off on a quest. I'm going to try to change a couple things. The clothing physics is really annoying, actually. And it shouldn't affect too much. Theoretically. Normal particles. And let's do a little bit higher textures because. Yeah, that just looks so much better. Let's hope that the game let's hope that it can handle it. Decide, you have a moment. Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas. I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? How could I forget it was badass? into the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable, but according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures... Very well. If I the road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the... Okay. Guess let's look at the map here. I'm guessing these are all fucking side quests. Me with the bridge lines. I know I needed to do that. I wonder how I change party members. Is it only you're allowed to do it only at specific times or?
Okay. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We've come to find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the Commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Yeah, I'd like to have Kurt with me, but it does, it's not very no. apparent how you change your party. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They are well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find, but they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Seems like a pretty lazy reason to make me do another quest, but... We'll fucking do it, I guess. Your contraband, and now you want to sneak into one of our warehouses. Kurt was given the order. If we want to help him, we don't have a choice. I don't like this. But since I've been sacked. And also, I hope it explains why this captain. Why this captain, who is like notoriously good at being a captain I'm for his age, got fired. Take a look at all of them. That won't be necessary. My entire cargo has been placed in the warehouse closest to my ship. And if you wouldn't mind wearing some Nord clothing, we'll be less suspicious. I would like to avoid fighting with my own. The Nords are my family. Of course I lost... Why won't it let me change my fucking party? Must be at their residence or in a camp. And the process begins by approaching the campfire icon. Is there one of those around? Seems awfully inconvenient. Perhaps there's an inn. Oh, there's a campfire icon. The Desarde residence. Okay. This map is fucking huge. Craft. Can 
increase the armor damage. Fury generation, just straight up damage. I like that. Can increase the damage even more. We'll do armor damage though. Look at that. Nice and upgraded, all good. Okay, Curtain Vasco for the time being, I guess. Level three lock picking. Cool. Looks like I might be able to completely navigate myself in a back way. I don't know. I need a bit of practice. Oh, oh my God, guys. It's getting a little old, like not being able to pass any fucking skill check. I think I'm wearing not clothes though, so like, I don't know why they'd be upset with me being here. I guess we'll just test it out here. Yeah. crates we've been looking for it they're so illiterate that they can't broken. understand so the, the picture that doesn't seem right it is our clients that supply us weapons on tier for deep you didn't know what was in the crates no i don't concern myself with the commander's business i should take a look into this i have some friends here that must know what this is all about let me know what you discover now let's mark these crates and get going
Any of this stuff lootable? Nope. I probably need to have vigor level two to be able to jump this. I need to yeah. practice. Me again. Well, I'll be damned, it's Captain Kurt. Manfred! Still a quartermaster? Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? We have found a way into the storehouse, and we have marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission, without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help, and I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. Of course. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, and rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. <sighs> Count on me. I'll take care of it. Okie dokie. Question the merchants of Serene. Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. That'd be if correct, you're looking sir. For the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. 
The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Reno. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not gonna bring him back. I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? <laughs> no! Not at all. And I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business. And my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I'm not gonna say one more word about this case. The law of silence is at work. Nobody saw anything, nobody knows anything. Oh, okay, so if you... And cool, one of the things that I... One of the abilities that I picked... You can just fucking pay somebody to do it. Want armor that fits you like a glove? We'll make it for you. Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. What do you mean it back? I've never seen you before in my life. To be of service to such noble clientele, what might I do for you? I'm conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the guard. Really? That's that's terrible, Your Excellency. As legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really. I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very... monitored. I see. In that case, I will leave you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come closer, good people. The Sire, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tierfredi. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know- Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't? Really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game? I'm conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I'm the legate of the congregation. If guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? 
No, I assure you. You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't learn much. All these merchants are terrified. I think it will be easier to convince the one who lost his partner to help us. Alrighty. <clears throat> Welcome. It's such a pleasure. Have you seen anything to your life? I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. And what if I gave you money to pay for it? If the plan fails, you only have to give them that money. They have no interest in getting rid of those who earn them so much. You are not wrong. Very well. I will do what you ask of me. But for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... in two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Come back two days later. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Something tells me I'm going to be able to miss the two day mark, too. Hopefully, not. I guess I'm gonna take Kurt and the uh, I forget what her name is, Salvo or whatever her name is. The girl. I guess I'll take her with me. Your Excellency, it is an honor. Just gonna keep that up there for two whole fucking days. Good day, Your Excellency. What up, Queen? How are you doing, buddy? As always, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well, man. Playing a little bit of Greedfall. I haven't decided my opinion. I knew you would. I am glad you survived though. I missed you. Fuck, I missed you before you left. But I'm glad you're back and I'm glad you're safe, man. The best forge in tier three. Adoy! Can you help me? Custom pieces, my two old. Burtir to mad on all menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? You'll be back Indeed. on the 27th, hopefully. I'm in charge of I diplomatic will count relations down with the other days. nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. 
the warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adloredar on Olmenawi. May the earth That's a cool always saying. be sturdy under your footsteps. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. I like that. It's a cool phrase. No, it's a... Uh... Ask. I think this is the one. Ask a intendant Manfred. Have you ever been to Hickman? It's a very impressive. It's a. Uh, it's set. I don't know. It's like a weird alternate universe. Think kind of like New World, where they discover a land with magic and stuff. Oh. And you're a young noble who has come to the island where all the magic is. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I have not yet formed an opinion. It's definitely not. Uh, it has not sucked me in yet. If that makes sense, like nothing about it has. Uh, really wowed me it looks good the combat's not bad hello your excellency what can i do for you i met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior really it would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times oh i see indeed i've been told about this man the problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Oh yeah, guys, don't forget to like the stream. That helps me out a whole bunch. I got so caught up in all the technical difficulties at the beginning of the stream that I uh, forgot that that was a thing. Mr. Minister? Minister, your excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who's trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, Queen, determine the best tell you this, buddy, but, for this um, business. In short, you've missed these like four. things take time. A four lot of time. We beat Cyberpunk and we spun... What was right after Cyberpunk? Oh yeah, Quantum. Was it Quantum? Yeah, it was Quantum Break, right? We be so then we beat Quantum Break in like two sessions, and then we rolled Metro 2033, and you hopped in on. You were in here for a little bit of that one, and then we spun. We beat that one, then we spun it again and got Kingdom Two Thrones, which we played that for a little bit. 
and determine that it didn't really fit in line with what we're doing. So, um, and then uh, we spun this. So yeah, four spins, man. But that just means we're that much closer to Final Fantasy 16, my dude. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Perhaps, your excellency. 75% chance and I fucking failed it. Pleased if I didn't determine the fitting tax rates. I fucking hate this. Minister, allow me to insist. Alas, your insistence will not change a thing. I heard your request and it will be processed. It is only a matter of a few months. Would you like anything else? Yeah, for you to go fuck yourself, man. What exactly is your role? I am tasked and I make sure I am responsible for it is an exciting would you like That'll be all. Goodbye, your ex This pencil pusher is as rigid as a halberd. Do you know how to make him change his mind? Sir de Corsillion knows all the su- Bruh, they say- 75% <laughs> chance. Pencil pusher is as rigid as- We're just gonna save right before and do it till it fucking works. Why the fuck isn't anything rendering? Are you guys fucking seeing this? It's all out of focus. What is go happening right now? Why is it all- Oh my god, dude. Am I gonna have to restart the fucking game again? Everything that's not like a meat, like just that far is out of focus. Minister. Your Excellency. How? I would like to talk to you about Since he doesn't have a patent. And you will I would be right. delighted. You'll understand. We must determine. In short. 75% chance. I'm certain that my... And he will probably be... Perhaps, Your Excellency. But our governor wouldn't be... <sighs> it's... Looking for... Would you like... That'll be all. Goodbye, Your... This pencil put... It's looking like I got cataracts for real. This game's just not doing me any favors today. Minister, your excellency. I really do. It the is worst luck. An honor. How? How's it going, Joey? Good seeing you, buddy. I would like to. And I, you'll under. We must ensure. I'm so and he will indeed there we I go seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives we could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later I would think so too very well in that case Here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. 
However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? Thank you, buddy. That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. I'm glad he can see reason. I'm gonna have to reload the game, I think. Let's go ahead and save it. Bear with me. This is why I like KOTOR and Mass Effect when it comes to persuading people is either you have the skill point or you don't. The only problem I have with the skill point system in this game is that they broke it up into like six different things and you get one skill point per five levels. Oh, what's this tearing? Are you seeing that? This fucking game. That looks all right. But here, like, I'll show it to you. This game, it, uh... Like, you have the six attributes here, right? And each of them has three levels. You can get boosts with gear. But, uh... I don't know how to explain why I don't why I dislike the only reason I fucking dislike it is because it gives you one point and unless you pick lock picking or science you can't do fucking anything extra in the tutorial which I thought was really dumb Happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bud Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. It's always something.
Yo, bro, why'd you take the why'd you take the guy? Hello, Your Excellency. Oh, what can your I do Excellency, for you? me. I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. Yeah, we'll if you get want him out. to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry. Again, Your Excellency. The incompetency of bureaucracy, to gentlemen. The necessary license for your protege and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. Are you what? In the arena. So this, this man all was happened judged. in five minutes. Announced the sentence. Whoa there. Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He can I kill this guy? Guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you. Anything else in here I can take? But can we agree, like, fuck all these guys? They suck. A lot of people in this game just fucking suck. I wonder if that's, like, how it's supposed to be, though. Be a victor in the arena? <laughs> this has escalated so far, man. What do you mean? Yeah, they seem like trash humans. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. Let's get rid of these money bags. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Bandits and thugs, the lot of them. Old brown brigadine? I can't wear it. Because of the endurance. Everything has a fucking skill check. 
Like it's an item they're giving you at the beginning of the game and unless you put both of your points into endurance, you wouldn't be able to use it. You can't use it. They don't seem to mind that I'm here because I'm wearing coin guard armor. New hat. Hey, Queen, you'll be happy to know that uh, me and Squid have been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. We're ready for you when you get back. go for this so the coin tavern I was just in there and it didn't really give me anything to of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Let's say, don't even know what we're getting into right now. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. Could you explain the rules again? Certainly. Regular combats take place in groups. Two of your companions will fight at your side. In order to become a champion, you'll need to win the five challenges that become more and more difficult. Each challenge is broken down into three rounds. You can take a breather in between each one. But if you give up on a challenge, you'll need to start all over again from the beginning. Once a challenge has been completed, you can fire any of the rounds I of hear Vernon again, Roche. just for the fun of it. Which one do you think? Is it the main character? It's been a while since I've played The Witcher, so I don't remember what he sounds like. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? Uh, yeah. Hey, real quick before I accept this, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
the arena master. Does anybody want to Google and check? Do you want to Google and confirm it? That'd be pretty sweet. This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? Lose the bonus? Justice cannot wait. I'm ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. We'll do it for justice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Block that. What a show! You've won the affections of the crowd. And when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, Onol Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is the Sade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. I'm coming back here. I want to fight in the arena. I like when there's arenas. I like arenas. I think I just like fighting, though. I just like, uh, I like fighting and getting rewarded for it. Ah, on old Manawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this on old Manawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe Man, you they got some good sayings, dude. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. May the trees all may your trees always bear fruit. May the grass always be soft under your feet. May the ground may the ground that you walk upon always be solid. Man. They sure know how to pump up pump up a gentleman. Let's go back and see if we can fight in the arena. Get some money. Money, 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 money. to excite the crowd yes perfect as soon as you're ready you can jump right in my lords and ladies here is a new team of fighters taking to our proud arena <laughs> <laughs> Mert. Holy shit. Oh, 
Oh, she heals? He heals. She's like a permanent really fixture now. It. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you saw them win the first challenge with audacity. Oh, that's a lot of and bears. Again for the second. Ladies and lords. Applause. <laughs> Now there's six bears. Bears and a big bear. appreciated it now that was a challenge well won it's probably going to get too strong for me to perfect as soon as here for your greatest pleasure oh we got flying beasts exercise. now once again they are here to kick up the sand of the arena hoping this time to win the third challenge <laughs> Oh, I'm poisoned. I can't hold on much longer. Oh, third dead? What do you mean? Do a little chitin. Do a little chitin. No guys. I don't know if I can do the next one. I might be able to if I kite them. I am low on ammo though. They keep getting got by the poison. Oh, 
Oh, these guys fucking... Bullshit. Yep, that checks out. Um, what? Ready to excite the crowd. I would like to abandon the current channel. Huh. Well, if you want to try it later. From the very first oh, okay that's yeah, fine i should be able to Ready start at three later it. right yeah okay i can do the third challenge later i need to get going huh. did i get anything from doing all that the reward probably doesn't happen until you beat the fifth one we need to level up more But also, at a surface glance, it doesn't appear for it to matter who's in your party. Like, I saved that uh, merchant quest to have her with me. But she didn't even interact at all. Which it would have been a little different in a game like Mass Effect or something. Reach the village. Fuck it, let's roll. We'll see what happens. Tier Freddy is made of several regions connected to each other. As you explore, you will discover campsites. They allow you to rest and travel quickly. When you reach the end of the road, the travel interface to select your next destination. There are also caravans near major cities for you to quickly travel from one to another. So wait, is there not? Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where would... I don't fucking know the name of the place. Thank you, but I'll continue. I assume I'm going the correct direction. A little exploration never hurt. I'm about to come across some kind of dragon or something. Um, okay. There's a blocked off path. What 
Ooh, or. More or. We found our mining run. I need a bit of practice. Uh. I wonder what the max level is in this game. Camp in the woods. During long journeys, you can stop at wandering merchant camps where you can buy, sell, crafting table, all that good stuff. How am I feeling about the game overall so far? It hasn't exactly blown Desire. me away. I have a favor to ask. Very well. I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Nords. But that's not to say that it's not going to get way better. Family, except that they are probably it's got all the building blocks. The combat's good. When I was born, the Nords and the Merchant Princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander, and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Of course. But you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any noughts to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the noughts are still my family. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. I like that it's giving me this quest all the way as I'm leaving fucking town, though. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well, in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. I can see that you're busy with some other matters. We'll see to this later, if you find a moment. Anything else? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. We always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. 
And I valued your friendship. But I thought you were referring to another kind of company. Oh, that was quick. And to yeah. be honest, you and Constantine aren't exactly my type. Anything else? I must leave you. I guess we're gonna fuck off and... On all Manawi, do you need something? The first time you saw me, did you really think I was a native? Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Onol Manawi amongst the Rinagse before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? Ask her if this singular appearance makes you more attractive. No, I understand. And I hope that this singular appearance makes me more Smooth. attractive. Perhaps if your difference wasn't merely physical, but your heart is evidently the heart of a Renaigse. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. been cool if it would have gave me this quest you know before I was leaving town here we are we have a good view from here the harbor office is well guarded both outside and inside getting through the main entrance is impossible there must be a blind spot there's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that- Can't they spike the wine because I don't have science. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dita. Acquire some sleeping pills, perhaps from a merchant? Seven hours, okay. You'll find all you welcome. It's such. Have you seen anything? Consumables. Could buy some fucking ammo. Of course, this guy doesn't sell uh, sleeping potions. Has it gotten better? It's, uh. It looks good. It really does. And the combat's fun. I don't know, I haven't formed an opinion yet. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. But like right now I have a main like I have a main quest for one of my companions where I need to obtain sleeping potions, and it appears that the only way to obtain sleeping potions is to craft them, which requires you to have signs, which is not the one ability that I picked. Because they only let you pick one. Kind of, I guess. It's just like missing something.
See, like, I can't fucking make this. And even if I, like, I don't have the things to make it. So what am I supposed to fucking do? Is there an alchemist around that I could pay? Because there's a crafter that would pay, that can pay to make stuff. There's a blacksmith. Sir, good people, the cure and wine from the continent, tear for the alcohol. Nothing from her. No, the merchant doesn't sell them. I could check again because I didn't realize that it was a different category from consumables because it's not a consumable. Maybe I'll go back and look. Such a pleasure. Have you seen it? Oh, you can buy them. Jesus, fuck. Thank you for your visit. <sighs> now we gotta convince the brothel owner. What is going on? Are you him? Peter?
It literally says to go in there. Maybe downstairs. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. 50% chance. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. After such a blow, I may well win a deal in San Mateus, but I'm pretty sure I'll lose the... You will have to find another... <laughs> Holy shit, your screen minimized and forgot you were streaming. I mean, hi. But you've been here the whole... You've been lurking the whole time. That's fine. I'm just happy you're here. I wonder how much having music would affect my opinion of this game, but because we can't play with music... So I guess like I'm having trouble making a good opinion because I don't know this game has just rubbed me the wrong way so many times already. Yes, We're gonna keep why? playing it though. You looking to have a good time? It seems so, no. Listen, what? we were listen. Captain Vasco, maybe he. If you accept, after such a blow, you will have to find an. June said you're her favorite streamer. Yes, yes, yes. I knew she'd have some sense. I knew she'd have good sense. Just like her daddy. We're going to get this fucking 50-50 chance. Yes, why? You look at... It seems... No, this what? We would listen. Captain Vass, maybe he... if you accept... After such a blow... You will... So I think 50% is a fucking lie. Yes. It seems no. This what? we were thinking. Listen. Captain Vass, maybe if you ex San Mateus. Aha. Uh -huh. I would have to recruit. But yeah, that would be interesting. So then, we agree? Yes, that's fine. Tonight, your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. My now, man. give me the sleeping potion. Thanks to Dieter, you should be able to slip into the Harbor Master's office after dark. You should still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. I think we're all dressed as knots. I just can't get over how bad the cape looks. Maybe it'll look cooler whenever I have higher level armor. Save again. Peter's girls will arrive later tonight. We can wait here if you're ready. We will wait for Dieter's girls to do their work as planned, then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. 
Dieter's daughter is gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi. Infiltrate the Harbor Master's office. Infiltration, my specialty. All these guys just napping on the job. Of course. I might regret it, but I'm getting the loot. The keys to the office. Just sitting out on a random crate. No need to question that. Oh, well, good thing because you need level two fucking block picking. Bunch of sleepy boys. Good thing they literally all partook in the wine and whores. Sneak, 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 sneak. Any loot? Be a lot cooler if there was. I like how one of the options was literally blow up the wall on the side. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Nords. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. Nice. Oh. Two skill points and an attribute point? Two? Wait, can we wield two-handed sword? We can wield two-handed swords. Oh, shit. 
But it costs two points, huh? I'll need to go buy a two-handed sword. As for attributes, I don't want to spread out too far. Probably gotta stick with strength. Why is it still three hours? I wait. Uh, any dual wielding in the game? Not that I've seen, man. Also, apparently there's no ability to just like wait. Not that Welcome. I found anyway. It's such a pleasure. Have you seen any? There's a broadsword. It's not that much of a damage increase. Why does a why does a long blade require agility, dude? What's going on? I feel like I'm taking fucking crazy pills, dude. Damn, that's way more damage. I think I'm going to buy it just to have it, though. And you would think that a two-handed sword would have more, uh... Would do more armor damage. Because, you know, it's a fucking massive sword. Welcome. It's such a would be a lot cooler if it did. Yeah, Have honestly. Anything to your liking? Honestly, a lot of get things in this game would be cooler. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to Just see. Just a couple Have minor changes. Like, for instance, I want to know why a two-handed sword requires stamina instead of... Or not stamina, but agility instead of strength. Some of these things make me feel like they didn't even play through the fucking game that they made, but... Thank you for your visit. Welcome, it's have you junk? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. I can't sit here and, and only talk shit, though. Like, it's not a bad game. Wait a fucking second. Okay. Fuck me. I thought. Oh, yeah, stuff like this right here. Like, I picked this up out of a box on the street in the arguably the second area, the first area outside of the tutorial, and it requires two endurance. Which would have required me to put both of my points that I've received so far into endurance. Which just doesn't make any sense. Hopefully this thing hits like a fucking truck, though. I 
I'm wondering if I can pass the time by. At least it's a minute, a second, it seems like. I wonder if I can wait two hours. We're gonna save. I don't know if I need to be there at the exact time. It wouldn't make sense if I had to. But there we passed a little bit of time. Have you seen anything? So? Did they take the bet? Yes, your excellency. And I am... He gave me 24 hours. Which means that the entire gang... Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And... Thank you for your visit. See you hide soon. somewhere near. I'll see about hiding somewhere really far. I hope you have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Leave this man alone at once. You're under arrest. We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? All right. Bit of poison on my blade. Yeah. Yeah, let's go! Oh. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Okay, so the two-handed sword just kind of fucking cleaves these motherfuckers. I'm eternally grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade and my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin, but this is the first time they told me his name. If they let him escape, it's only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. Search the extortionists. I hope that you will manage to make this stingy merchant pay. We will no longer tolerate his late payments. I will wait for you in the alley in front of the barracks. Don't be we late. We must find this Egon. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly by that name. It is the silver coin we must look for. He gone, but gonna be gone. So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame <laughs> to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. They've been as sweet as lambs since Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my dew. 
No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Well, I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone, even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now, don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There's no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Oh my god, a discreet... A tail mission? Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. Please. We would like to talk to you about the silver coin. What are you talking about? It's now or never. I wasn't even close to him! Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Do not take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you are implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You are therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes, we'll see about that. To my help! And death to the others! A bit of poison in my brain. Then let's go! Things are about to get nicey! Come on, if you're dead! To get icing. So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me. You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on. I'd rather die. Poison on my blade. Then let's go. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of it. We we'll just have to kill literally every single person that gets in our way to do it. The silver coin. His symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Manfred. Bit of poison we'll make you dance, then land dwellers. <laughs> Let's see if you can ward off this faint. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I literally swept through three men and knocked them all to the ground. It was really cool. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty or terror? Terror, I fear. 
From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name. But as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency. Take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a coins. investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Alrighty. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course, let's go. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I've been asking myself why everyone calls you captain, seeing as you have no ship. But now I'm beginning to understand. I'm happy to have poured some oil in your lantern, sailor. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers. May we be of service. Evoke the subject of Reiner? What? How the fuck that is? I'm looking for the soldier, Reiner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Back to this fucking guy. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Oh, no, he's informed fucking dead. About what? He is dead. He was found. Drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Oh, you fucking want some? Yeah, that'll do. Nothing like getting accosted as soon as you leave the guard barracks. Oh, of course the morgue is inside. Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rayner. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. 
Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no. I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow... Stars. I have as of yet to present myself. I am Sir de Sade, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tiafredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you. We actually got a charisma respect. roll in the first it's the try. Body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. Of course, I don't have fucking science. Damn. This doesn't look like the body of young Rayner. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rayner. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. Uh, it's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Subject of the young man under the age of 20. He has several hematomas on the entirety of his body. Some more recent than others. Forearms, bo forearm bones are broken. Lesions on the hand. Several broken ribs. Skull is sunken. Likely to be the cause of death. Yep. Confront the doctor with his lies. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot! I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Uh, two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual. But the men returned. I was told to forget what I discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. My condolences, Kurt. I'm truly sorry. 
I know the pain of losing a crew member. Thank you, Vasco. Oh, they're getting along. How's it going? It's not going bad, man. It, uh, there's some things that sort of pissed me off a little bit about the game. A couple of decisions on the developer's part that I don't necessarily agree with, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game. Oh, I'm having fun. Excellent. I'm having fun. What it just hasn't really me? sucked me in, if that makes sense. We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And he wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th. Before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I will I say that this particular quest, I don't the, like uh... being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. The two uh, companion storylines that I've done so far for Vasco and this one I'm doing with Kurt, these are pretty compelling, however. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene. But I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard. To come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Do you know a recruit going by the name of Rayner? Rayner? I... It's just... Excellency, please. The boy is terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Yeah, get him drunk so he'll talk. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Here, you seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave or you wouldn't be at the tavern. And why not? Yes, 
But this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. <laughs> now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rainer? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and uh, followed orders. And then, poof. Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rainer, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your Lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Okay, looks like we got the information we needed. Go confront the lieutenant of the uh, 11th regime. I'm kind of hoping uh, somebody tries to mug me so I can kill him with my big sword. Oh. Oh, that's the guy I killed earlier. Reworn guard dublets, doublets. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take those. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The Eleventh, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rainer. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rainer belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. Rainer was indeed a member of my company and an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of... secret, elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixth might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rainer, Excellency. Go and see the Officer of the Sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Anything else? 
Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. I wonder if he's actually not dead and they faked his death so that he could be part of this like shadow group, the ghost regiment. Any loot? Nope. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry. We respect to the letter, congregation, directives, and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Hmm, maybe don't allow Kurt to speak. It's not exactly the best with words. Are you certain you don't know do where it. this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me, you don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain... I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Even fought what? beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rayner. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. Cool. I want to do something here. Damn, how far back is that? I don't like that my reputation went down. Oh god, this is way far back. Whatever, fuck it.
And we leveled up. So I get a new skill. Oh, it's level nine. Okay, so we got the two handed unlocked. Long blades deal more damage. I might just want to keep going with long blade, to be honest. Progress in the main quest to get information about that. Well, it looks like we might have actually fucking caught up with, uh... With the, uh, side quests. See here. There's a chest around this wall that I want to get. I saw it earlier, and I'm thinking this is how you get it. Yep. Fuck you. Everything needs lockpicking, dude. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the game and uh, it's a little earlier than I normally do it, but uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. We're going to keep playing it. We'll start it back up again on Monday and jump right into it. Um, but I'm hungry. I'm pretty tired and uh, I think I'm just going to make some food and chill. But uh, I don't know. We'll, the game's kind of hasn't really sucked me in yet. Those cu last couple quests were pretty good. I still get a little bit annoyed by the skill system. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But I might do a little bit of reading. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something I'm just not seeing. But as always, I appreciate your all support. And I thank you for coming out here and hanging out with me. And... Uh, Monday, business as usual. We'll start back in on this. I don't know exactly how long the game is, but we'll be on it for a couple weeks at least. So until then, thanks for coming and hanging out, and I appreciate you, and I will catch you all later. And until the next time, be good or be good at it.